In this video, I am going to show you how to boost performance in Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I am gonna have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up mod wind flex so now enter here you'll find modinf.com click on modinf and then you'll be on the modinf homepage. now what you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website then go down to mods now go to search mods and type in sodium like so today we'll be using sodium and sodium extra so to begin simply go to sodium now what you want to do is go to versions and then you have to go to game versions and then 1.21.11 and then platform and fabric now once you have this what you want to do is make sure it is the right file and if it is click the green download button okay now we want sodium extra so go back to discover content go to mods go to search mods and search up sodium again here you'll find sodium extra click on it and this will bring you to this page now go to versions go to game versions 1.21.11 platform fabric and here we have the same thing just go to the green demo button and there you go we now have sodium extra and sodium fabric so what you want to do here is to get yourself well fabric to get fabric, go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up fabric minecraft, and here enter. Here you'll find fabricmc.net, click on fabric, this will bring you to the fabric homepage. From there go to the blue download button, and then go to the blue download for windows button. If you're not using windows, go and download the universal jar. Once you have these files here, what you want to do is to close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine and from there go ahead and go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now find the fabric installer and double click it. Now what you want to do is make sure the minecraft version is correct, if it is click install. Ok and close. Now what you want to do is go and open up the minecraft launcher. With the minecraft launcher you will be able to go ahead and add the two mods to the mods folder. So you can access the mods folder by going to installations, then going to fabric loader and going to the folder icon. Now what you want to do is find mods and double click the folder. Once you're here, go to downloads, go and select the two files and copy them. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to your folder and click paste. Now you copy pasted sodium extra and sodium in dot minecraft mods. Here, go back to the minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once minecraft has opened up here, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll go to a single player world, and you can try out different settings. Okay, so once we are in Minecraft, you will notice that the game runs way better automatically. I opened up Minecraft 1.20.11 like quite often, and ever since this version, it just seems to just stutter when the game just first loads up. But you might notice that it doesn't this time, which is pretty cool. If you do F3, you will see the FPS count. It is like around 500, 600. Again, that's for me, for you, it will probably be different. But that is something to count in my situation. And here, there is one thing you need to change if you don't like how big the screen became. This is because if you go to options, video settings, everything changed. So let me remove this real quick. And what you have to do is go to GUI scale and go and move this to like whatever you like. I'll do like 3x and now it's smaller. That is one cool thing. And another thing you can do is change quite a lot of things. So here it tells you performance impact on the side here. And if there is anything you want to change, you will see that the performance impact might be different per thing. And as you can see, there is a lot of things as soon as we reach sodium extra. 
Sodium Extra really helps you like fine tune different performance settings. And if you really want to change something here, you will be able to. But there is a lot, a lot of things to go through. And this is more of the animation idea here. But yeah, you have animations and particles. So there's a lot of things here. Then we have details. If you want to change some stuff here, the fogs. There is a lot, a lot of things here to be changed. There's one thing I like, which is the reduced resolution of Mac OS, especially on laptops, so like MacBooks, because the screen is like higher quality than Minecraft actually needs. So if you need to have better FPS on MacBooks, turn this on, turn off the game, open it up again, and you can basically double the FPS, which is pretty cool. And there is more things here. So that is something you can do. By default, your game should be better, but for example, if you play on a server, just change it to like 9 or whatever for the chunks, it's like really the default, default stuff, even in default Minecraft is a thing. And you'll just have this more FPS. Here we go, we can just sometimes reaching 900, sometimes 1000 if you're lucky. But yeah, so that is the idea here, is that with Sodium, you have a background thing going on that you just can't modify. It's called the Sodium Renderer here. And there is also settings you can do with Sodium and also with Sodium Extra for more fine-tuned details. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to boost your FPS in Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!